Okay. So yes, we will be talking uh, about uh, probability a lot, and in particular how it relates to unmanned traffic management and safety management uh, for unmanned traffic. Uh, so this is about graphs. Uh, and what are graphs? Well, hopefully you know that these are you know, things like this. Uh, graphs have vertices, have edges, and there are lots and lots of examples of graphs, communication networks, road networks, and other kinds of networks. Uh, graphs have certain properties. You may have uh, connected graphs or disconnected graphs. And uh, well, for instance, this graph, is this a connected graph or is it disconnected? You may answer in chat or may unmute the microphone and say. Disconnected. It's disconnected, yes, because it has all this edge and you can't go from this edge to the rest of the graph. So this graph is disconnected. Um, I don't know if uh, you know what, uh, if, whether you know what a tree is, but there is a property that the graph has no cycles. So this is a tree, but if you add an edge like this, then you have a cycle. So this is not a tree. How about this graph? Is this graph a tree or not? No. No, it's not a tree. I mean, here is a cycle. Yeah. I mean, there are other properties. <laughs> well, just having edges uh, is a property because you know you can have a graph which has no edges, just isolated nodes. Uh, having well components of size uh, one or two or three uh, connected component i mean that's also a property i mean in, in this graph here is this one connected component of size two and the other four vertices are in the connected component of size four so the size of the largest connected component is a property or having component of size more than two more than three or exactly two or having more than two components of size two or whatever. I mean, there are lots and lots of graph properties uh, that you can define and then say for every graph, whether the graph has the property or doesn't have the property. Okay, so very generic notion of property. Now there is something uh, which is important for us and it's about the monotonicity of properties. So a property is called monotone if whenever you add an edge to a graph that already has the property, the property continues to hold. So kind of quote unquote, even more. So if a graph has certain property and you add the edge, then it well, has, still has this property. Um, so let's you know, go through, well, not maybe the full list, but at least some of them. Connectedness, is it a monotone property? So if a graph is connected and you add an edge, will the graph remain connected? Yeah. Yeah, it's already connected. If you add an edge, you can only increase connectivity. Okay. So being a tree, is this a monotone property? Here is a tree. No. No, if I add an edge, I may create a cycle. So that's not a monotone property. Okay, so, uh, you know, having edges, uh, having, yeah, okay, let, let's go through all through of them. Having edges, if a graph has edges and you add an edge, does it still have edges? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Having component of size more than two. So if you have a certain com connected component, well, maybe this one, maybe this is not the full graph, maybe there are a few other components. But if one of the components is larger than two and you add an edge to the graph, maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, does it still have a connected component of size more than two? Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, of course, you add an edge, well, maybe you increase the size of the component, maybe it stays the same, but that's a monotone property. Similarly for you know, having a component of size more than three. Having a, a component of size exactly two, edge. Maybe this is a graph that has a component of size exactly two, but also other components. Is this a monotone property? Yes. 
Well, for this graph, yes, because no matter where you add an edge, it, it does have a component of size two. But if you have a graph like this, so maybe this here is two versus and maybe the other one, the other component is this. Oh yeah, you can connect it. Mm. And you can add this edge or add this edge, you know, and all of a sudden the com component size increases. Yeah, because you have connected two components, mm. the connect, uh, you, you, that no longer has a component of size two, or even if you add this edge, or maybe there was also a vertex which you didn't draw. But anyway, so this is not a um, monotone property. So I, I don't want to go through, all, through the full list. Uh, it, it's not really about these particular properties. And it's just to give you examples of different properties. Some of properties are natural, <laughs> some properties are less natural. Uh, but some properties are monotone, some not. So and the monotone property means if you add in an edge, the graph still has this property. Okay, uh, next definition is a random geometric graph. So what is this? Uh, well, it's just a random set of points. So uh, n is the number of points which you place randomly in a certain area. And why is it called the graph and why is it called geometric? Well, if it's just the set of points, then it's not a graph, but what you do, is you have a radius r and you connect all the vertices that are at distance at most r. Okay, so that's again pretty natural thing. It was used and appears everywhere in sensor networks and well, you name it. Uh, random points uh, in the geometric domain and whenever two points are close to each other, they are connected by an edge. And close means that there is some distance r when the points can communicate or whatever, whatever this radius means. So uh, how does the random graph, random geometric graphs, how do they appear in UTM? Well, not going too much into, well, this PK, I was showing the picture of uh, PK. And well, here's one of his citations. He has lots of citations, uh, it's not about that. Uh, so essentially, uh, you can look at uh, the drone traffic at any particular moment, and you can say that every drone is a node or a vertex, and there is an edge between two drones if they are too close, if they have a separation loss, right? So this time, this radius that tells you when you connect two nodes is uh, really like the radius of this protected airspace zone. So if two drones have these disks and these disks overlap, then the two drones are too close and then you connect uh, the drones with an edge. Well, so this R for, uh, the, um, for, for the connectivity in the random geometric graph is really the, like the diameter of the disk or twice the radius of the protected airspace zone. But anyway, that, that, that's the general way. You look at uh, the drones at any particular time, take a snapshot and uh, look at all pairs of drones. Whenever two drones are too close, you put an edge between them. So you're saying, well, these two guys are in a conflict. Okay, that's how the uh, graphs like this show up in UTM. And uh, what we want to know in UTM is when is there a safety breach? What is a safety breach? Well, I'm not a safety expert, but uh, you can talk to safety experts at Telefly in the Teleplace and so on. And they can give you lots and lots of definitions of what a safety breach is. I kind of don't care. So the safety breach is when things go wrong for some definition of wrong. So I want to look at it in the very generic sense, in a very generic setting, without uh, confining myself to any particular definition of a safety breach. I mean, you can spend hours and hours on trying to define the safety breaches, and this is what is being done. There are workshops and there are these committees on what is a safety breach in ATM, in a conventional air traffic. There are lots and lots of definitions. There could be even more for UTM, you can do validations and tests and uh, other things, but you will probably never arrive at you know, a single definition that this is the safety breach. Yeah, so this is what we have <clears throat> in ATM. Yeah, the safety breach can be related to uh, 
uh, the air traffic controller workloads, the complexity of the EA space. It's also subjective. There is a lot of work on that. I don't want to go into uh, all these questions. I just want to say that whenever I have you know, a safety breach or accident, or I'm in trouble, or I have breach capacity limits, too many things in the sky, things are bad. So with this loose definition, or actually absence of definition of a safety breach, can we even say anything at all about safety breach? And you no, know, I'm deliberately trying to be oblivious to the exact definition of the safety breach. And yet I want to be very specific about safety breaches. And you know, the safety breach being so subjective and delusive notion and my particular ignorance to what it is can I really say something at all about safety breach? Well, why did we start the lecture from talking about monotone properties? I can claim that safety breach is a monotone property for any you know, reasonable definition of a breach. So essentially what I'm saying is that if you have a certain situation where you do have a safety breach, I know like, here, I don't know, maybe a component of size three, like three drones in a conflict is a safety breach. If I add edges to my, uh, you know, to my picture, maybe there's another drone and I added edges, or maybe the just R has increased and all of a sudden I'm connecting more edges. So what I'm saying is that when I have more edges, I will still have the safety breach, right? It would be strange to have a definition of a safety breach when you know in uh, this situation you do have the safety breach, but in this situation you don't. If you have more drones or more edges, more pairwise conflicts, well, you can only increase uh, the fact. Well, if one can increase facts, you know the the fact that you have safety breach holds even with higher truth or whatever, or more experts would call it a safety breach. So safety breach is a monotone property. Uh, that's kind of a theorem, which we just proved. And one corollary from that theory is that these monotone properties, sorry, uh, monotone properties of random geometric graphs are really important for uh, unmanned traffic management because they model the safety breaches. So you take any definition of the safety breach in UTM, it translates to something about uh, the random geometric graph on your drones. So the drones again flying randomly at any time, you know, the snapshot of the sky is a random geometric graph. Certain drones are in conflict. And uh, if your definition of the safety breach is a reasonable definition, then it's monotone or it represents a monotone property. So it does make sense to study monotone property of random geometric graphs if we want to understand safety breaches in UTM. And uh, it turns out that monotone properties of random geometric graphs have thresholds. So, uh, well, I'm trying to be formal here and therefore uh, the suit, I want to tell you what it means that a threshold is really in terms of the increase of the radius. So uh, first some terminology, so saying that the graph has a certain property uh, we can also say that G is this property, like, you know, G has the property of connectedness, meaning that G is connected, or we may say that G is in the set of connected graphs. Okay, so for example, of the connectedness, uh, well, we can say all three, and similarly for all the other, generally for all the other properties, but uh, we are now only interested in the monotone properties. So, you know, G is a tree or G belongs to the class of tree graphs and so on. So that's just, uh, you know, the uh, notation. And uh, what we can define is the probability that the certain graph, certain random geometric graph has uh, a certain property. So random geometric graphs, as we know, is defined by two things and the number of nodes, number of nodes that we throw uh, on the plane and R, the radius. And uh, well, it's a random graph. So it has 
certain property with certain probability, and that probability will be denoted like this, C of n and r. Okay? So, for an example, you know, what is the probability that random geometric graph will be connected? That will be this for C equals connectedness. What is the probability that uh, a random geometric graph on n nodes and uh, radius r is a tree? Well, it will be this. It will be denoted like this for C being a tree and so on. And essentially what you really want to know in UTM is uh, this probability. For different notions of um, for different notions of safety breaches leading to different uh, properties which define a safety breach. So n is essentially the traffic intensity, the number of nodes that you see uh, in the sky at a certain moment. Well, depends on the traffic intensity. The the you know the larger the intensity, the more operations you expect during the day, the more nodes you will have to throw. And R is really this uh, CDNR, the conflict detection resolution cap capabilities, uh, and also velocity of, of uh, the drone. So this is something that defines the radius of the drone. Uh, again, something that we know. So we know N, we know R, and what we want to know is the probability that the random geometric graph on N nodes with parameter R, we connect two nodes if they are closer than R, has certain property. So that's important because this is essentially the question of what is the probability of how likely are we to have a safety breach given certain intensity and given certain um, communication navigation surveillance capabilities or conflict action resolution capabilities. Of course, it depends on you know routing paradigms uh, and also what is the region of interest and uh, other things, but this is the very generic and very important question for UTM. You can reformulate this question in various ways. Yes, what's the probability of a safety breach or an accident? Uh, what is the capacity of my airspace? Uh, you can say that, well, the limit of the capacity is the maximum number n when this probability of a safety breach is I don't know, below 20% or 50% or whatever you want to put on it, or maybe 10 into uh, minus nine as it is in the aviation or yes, how often you are in trouble, uh, what is the largest number of uh, aircraft uh, drones that you can tolerate. So different ways in which you can formulate same question, you know, in a loose way, but in the formal way, really what you want to know that probability, C of M and R. And it is very important that we are not trying to answer this question just for the single value of N and R. Well, because these parameters may change. You know, today you have 10 drones operating, tomorrow you will have 100. You want to project and understand how this probability changes uh, for the whole range of uh, M. And uh, similarly for the whole range of R, because I really don't want to know what are the exact uh, radii of this protected airspace zone. Uh, the technology is changing, the algorithm is becoming better, the hardware is becoming better. So, uh, we don't really want to know the answer for a single number n and single number r. We want to explore the full range of n and r's. And uh, well, again, what can we say in general about uh, this probability, C of n r, the probability that a random geometric graph on n nodes with parameter r will have a property C. So one thing is that it probably should increase with n. Right? I mean, if you have more things in the air, then you will have more conflicts well, within a fixed uh, region of interest, like over a city or something. So, uh, well, with higher traffic, you will have more conflicts. And similarly, if your radius increases, then you have more and more edges, you have more and more conflicts. So whatever the definition of safety breach is, C and R will increase. So C and R is increasing in N, C of N R is increasing in R, increasing in both arguments. That we know. But how does that increase happen? Does it happen like this? I don't know. Oops, sorry. Uh, like here, linearly, or maybe it increases like this. No, there is this rich theory of thresholds 
for monotone properties in random geometry graphs that uh, will tell you, well, there will be like a threshold. So a very thin range of values, like for instance, for R or for N, when this probability jumps from essentially zero to essentially one. And that's exactly what we've been observing. And uh, yes, now I will probably repeat a few of the figures that uh, you've seen in the previous uh, set of slides, but essentially this is what we've done. We had some definitions of safety bridge, like having a connected component of size at least three. We also looked at uh, other definitions, like, uh, okay, so for this, connect a component of size at least three. Well, here it is. This would be a situation with a safety bridge. And we did simulations uh, for Berkeley and for uh, North Shopping under certain model. I will not go into the details uh, of, of the model because, well, we believe that it would work in um, any traffic model. But anyway, so we were looking at these probabilities and you, you saw those graphs and eventually getting the results like this. Um, C of and R, now I can tell what it is really the, in formal way, the probability of safety bridge as a function of traffic density and the conflict radius. And again, last but not least, uh, the sharp boundary between safe and unsafe, defining the thresholds. Last slide. Uh, there can be many other definitions and models of safety bridge or capacity limit or being in trouble. And uh, some of them may be defined not in terms of the graph properties. Uh, you know, like uh, you may say that, well, my capacity limit is uh, when, because of the congestion, the aircraft or the vehicles, the drones cannot fly direct or have to be routed uh, too much, or if they have to stay on the ground for too longer. So uh, yeah, it, it is still uh, being researched. Uh, and uh, yes, if, they, if such definitions of capacity are not defined in terms of random geometric graph properties, and in particular, not in terms of monotone properties, then well, uh, maybe this theory doesn't apply to those definitions of capacity. But uh, the purpose of this set of slides, uh, in particular, together with the UTMOK set of slides, is to show, you know, at least to argue in favor of saying that random geometric graphs and monotone properties in them are very important for uh, the UTM safety management.